The latest trend, major YouTubers all over the country have been selling their C8s. Here's why, and it's time for me to do the same. All of these YouTubers have recently sold their car or are about to sell their car. Where there is various reasons, it really just comes down to one. He offered me 120 k for my car. July 18th, 2019, that car finally came to fruition. After all of the years and the dreams of Zora to have this car with an engine in the back come to fruition. Now the mid-engine car was never part of heritage of Corvette. Even I said, they'll never make a mid-engine Corvette. It's all a myth, it's all internet rumors, and it's just conjecture that people are trying to make clickbait on to make money on the internet and for ads. That same night, the energy, the anticipation, the level of excitement for the Corvette just absolutely went through the roof. I did a live stream that night and I had 60,000 people on my live stream. I've never had that many people on my live stream. All I did was restream, share restream. But we had a lot of conversation about things and I got to meet a lot of cool people. But the rest of 2019 happened and we all know what 2020 is like. 2019 at the end, we had a strike. It delayed the Midgen Corvette. 2020 happened, we got shut down with coronavirus after just a couple thousand cars were made and shipped. So that has made this car even more popular, wanted by people even more, but the supply just isn't there. The first 500 to 1,000 cars all had some type of constraints on it. If it was color, if it was trim level 1LT or 2 and 3LT, they had something on it. With people like me, people with street speed, Cletus, stuff like that, we all have to get our cars first. We all have to get them out on the internet because these are business expenses and they're major business expenses. So one of the biggest things you do when it comes time to ordering a special car like this is you make concessions. For me, I wanted Rapid Blue. I didn't get it. I got white. Pretty much everything else on this car is exactly the way I wanted it with the exception of the exterior color. So for some YouTubers, it may be to the point where their car just isn't what they want, right? They made a concession. They're like, hey, I don't want it anymore. Stuff like that. We also found out that in about three weeks of having the C8 released, that the content on YouTube just dove. It did not work after that. YouTube became saturated so much with C8 content that Stradman actually was the very first one to sell his. And he actually said that in a video. Here's that video just to remind you. It sounds like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. I can see you guys typing away, just get an exhaust. The problem though, is that every single other YouTuber has filmed a C8 Corvette exhaust video and therein lies the problem. Not only is YouTube my full-time job, but it's a really creative outlet for me. And I take a lot of satisfaction doing like unique, cool content that has never been seen on the interwebs. Like my Gladiator 6x6, it's not gonna be a world's first Gladiator 6x6, but for automotive YouTube, it should be, I'm pretty sure. Whereas the C8 Corvette, it's just become so ubiquitous. That's right, ubiquitous. Everybody has one. Uh, Daily Driven Exotics, Amelia, Chevy Dude, TJ, Street Speed, Cletus is getting one. Like, it's just become overly redundant and everybody's doing the same thing. Wide body, twin turbo. I just like, I'm bored of- And Stratty goes on to tell you that he's not throwing shade at any YouTuber. He's not doing anything like that. But he tells you exactly what's going on with the YouTube market for you guys that just aren't behind the scenes talking to other YouTubers and talking about content strategy, stuff like that. And then we go into a new realm that we can't crack the ECU. We've seen some people twin turbo their cars. We've seen one awesome lady blow her car up, but it comes back to being able not to program the ECU and being able to use those twin turbos. You know, I might do a Pro Charger if Pro Charger comes out with a really awesome product, but you can't really utilize those mods until you can tune the car, which is why I haven't modded anything more than put nitrous and the sole performance exhaust, which I do want to say thanks to nitrous express and sole performance for hooking me up and helping me make these two mods come true. This is by far the most mods I've ever done in a car and definitely out of my comfort zone. So then we start seeing supply start happening slow down. Like I mentioned earlier, coronavirus kind of kill uh, the supply uh, from coming out, but the want and people wanting this car badly is still there. And then we see dealers marking these cars up 20 and $30,000. Then 
what you may or may not see is these cars going through auction. Mannheim Auction is the biggest auction uh, company in the country. They're owned by Cox Automotive, which Cox Automotive owns Kelly Blue Book as well. With that being said, I watch this on a regular basis, on a daily basis. I have not seen a 2020 Corvette. It's used, it has to be used when it goes through auction. I have not seen one go through for under $100,000. That means that $60,000 car, that $80,000 car is making twenty dollars and $30,000. So I think you would be like anyone else if you had this beautiful car behind me, even with the wrap, it's beautiful. And you could turn around, have it for a month or two, and sell it for fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollar profit. That would be a very wise financial decision. So that's what's going on in the Corvette world, and that's why I believe these YouTubers are selling their cars. It's kind of obvious to that point, but I wanted to give you a little bit of hindsight behind the scenes of what I see on a daily basis, who I talk to, stuff like that. And most importantly, I even have customers calling me and saying, hey, Mike, I think I'm going to sell my car. One of my very first C8s that I sold, the customer is checking with some people and he is going to want to sell his car. And he's probably telling me 120, 125, what he'll sell it. And that car will sell in a day or two if he comes to me and say, hey, Mike, will you market my car for me? It'll, it'll sell in a day or two. This isn't gonna be me selling the car, it's gonna be the customer selling the car, but I told him I would help him if he so desires to do so. So the biggest question comes in place is when will this end? And I think we probably have a good three to four more months of this where people are gonna be able to sell their cars. I think when 2021 20, production starts in sometime in middle November that um, we'll see the second shift started, which already started, but we'll see production levels go up. And once that happens, this demand will come down as the supply goes up. But I still think at the beginning of next year, March, April, May, when we come back into the entire country, back into the spring and summer seasons, that this all is gonna go right back up to where it is today. So we got a long time before we see these high dollar, over MSRP, high dollar resale values are gone. So we gotta get into the last portion of this video and am I gonna sell my 2020 Corvette? The answer is no. I did contemplate on selling it. I had an offer for $140,000. Now you'll be like, uh, Mike, why didn't you take it? Well, I really contemplated taking it. I texted my wife and said, hey, I just had a guy offer me $140,000 and I told him yes. Um, the, what happened was, is he had a trade in and he thought his trade was worth a whole lot more and it just simply wasn't. So it, it didn't go through, but I would have sold that through 140, but two days passed and I kept questioning myself, do I really want to sell it? Here's why I would have said no. And here's why I'm not gonna sell my car for right now. I bought this car to give back to the Corvette community. I bought this car to establish that I'm invested into the Corvette community. I think being a true enthusiast is not just selling the cars, but owning the car. And I'm very fortunate that I own that one and I own that C7 in there, which is hard to see because it's in the garage, but I own a C7 and a C8. And I was not excited about Corvettes until 2014 when the C7 came out. So I'm still excited about them. I'm still enthusiastic about it. I still love the ability to have this car at my dealership every single day when people come in and say, hey, do you have a C8 to look at? There's nobody else in the country that can say yes. I'm the only one. Hey, can we sit in it? Yes. I had people call me. He's like, hey, no dealership will let me sit in a car. I understand that no dealership's going to let you sit in a car because it's not their car. It's sold or they're just being picky on a car that they're trying to get for 30 grand over. But I love the ability to say, yeah, let's go for a ride. Let's look in the car. Feel free to sit in it. Feel free to start it up. All of that good stuff. So no, I'm not going to sell my car as of today's shooting. Uh, obviously things can change, but I'm here for you guys. I'm here for the Corvette community. I'm here to experience this car and give you feedback of the pluses and the minuses. So far, it's all been really good. So to stop my rant, this is one thing I'm gonna tell you. I love this car. And I love the wrap too. I know a lot of you guys don't love the wrap. I know it, I see the comments. But I love the wrap. It's a great business decision and it's done nothing but help my business out having the wrap, having the exposure and having people say, what do you do? Who are you? And then they look you up and you're like, oh my God, right? They think I'm famous. I'm not famous, but I love this car. This car ride is amazing. The seating position is amazing. The room inside the cabin is amazing. Everything about this car 
is I love it. So with that being said, guys, make sure you support the channel. Check out ChevyDudeStore.com. Use the link for Amazon every time you buy something on the Amazon that's in the description below. As always, thanks again for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.